New at six, three months ago, Catholic dioceses across Texas announced they would release the names of clergy who have been credibly accused of sexually abusing a minor dating back to the 1950s. The comprehensive list now scheduled to be released tomorrow. And on the heels of that announcement, our Bill Baraha sat down with chapter leader of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, or SNAP, here in San Antonio about what this means for victims and survivors. The list of names are meant to provide accountability and transparency within the church. For victims, it's so much more. Often they have not felt listened to or believed. Um, it also empowers them. It, uh, they feel um, that they're no longer alone. It empowers them to come forward. The allegations of sexual abuse of minors at the hands of clergy dates back decades. It's why on September 1st, the Archbishop of San Antonio, Gustavo Garcia Siad, and dioceses across Texas agreed to compile and release a list of names of those credibly accused. It's a very long time coming. In fact, we wonder, they could have released this a year ago, they could have released it five years ago and 10 years ago. The Archbishop also formed a commission to examine current procedures for addressing allegations of sexual abuse of minors going forward. SNAP San Antonio chapter leader Patty Koo, a victim herself, dedicates her time to helping others. Most often, she says, they just need someone to be there for them. When I first began, you know, I was like, well, what do I tell them? What do I do? What do I say? You listen. You listen. It's huge to listen to what they're saying. SNAP has been around since 1988. Ku quick to point out they are not anti-church or anti-Catholic. She wants all victims to feel comfortable coming forward, but also advise against doing so with the church. We're urging them not to call the church. It's something that we've learned from 30 years experience of a pattern. Uh, it may appear that the church is trying to help, but um, how can they? It's a hierarchy. Koo says victims can call SNAP or SAPD at any time. As for the list of names, they are set to be released tomorrow at 2 p.m. In downtown Bill Barajas, KSTAT 12 News.